for you. Let us talk. Many favorites. I think almost every what show. Was your, what was your favorite? My, my favorite show was actually not here in this room. It was when we went to Fire Island. It was quite an experience. Unfortunately, Angie could not go out with us. She was away. And we brought our good friend Therese to Neko out. But it was fun because I got to pop two cherries in one night. So Reese and Echo had never been to Fire Island, and neither had Stacey Todd Holt. What? Uh, <laughs> Why are you gonna so, love me like that? <laughs> yeah. So right there, that was fun. But the show, Damn. we had our good friend Arbender Robinson on the show. He was amazing. And then we were supposed to do an end-to-end -end underwear and swimsuit fashion show. And we got our porn star friends that were supposed to come out. They wound up getting double buffed, so we had no models. You did not say double. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Porn star friends is double buffed. Oh, so Stacy and I decided being the friendly ones on the show, we would go searching for models during the day. So we went <laughs> by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> the skimpiest bathing suits. So that to me was one of the one of the best thing was was taking Stacy drunk off his ass through the meat rack around midnight. <laughs> okay, back to our house. For those of you that don't know, Joseph can also go through the meat rack in the dark, blindfolded, with one leg tied like up here. He's a pro. He you will, can't teach that. He will tell you. Light. First of all, a bike light. You know, bike where it's like little light that lights up the area, which they're like. <laughs> Human beings acting like cockroaches, like. As you shine them, like. And he's like, root, avoid. Root, avoid. It's amazing. It's, 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 like, it's, like, it's, like, it's a gift. 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 But then I, I put him to bed, and then I went back out and had fun afterwards. You know? so when, you, when you do the show, when you work with older people, they have to be in bed by a certain time. So I made sure he was taking care of Great, great time in Fire Island. It was phenomenal. But Angie, which one was your favorite show? Oh, so many shows, so little time. Um, my favorite show was we had a doctor on. Uh, Anesthesiologist, what was he? Uh, an anesthetist, I must say. And uh, he came up and he did a um, sample. He wanted to show us this skincare product. So right, it was our show on aging. Aging, that's right. He shows Botox into people's bodies. And he put this uh, stuff on my hand. Acid. It was acid, that's exactly what it was. And so I was sitting there, I was like, oh, it's yeah. got a tingle to it. <laughs> oh, it's starting to burn a little bit. And then he goes, do you need ice? And I goes, I don't know, do I need ice? <laughs> <laughs> he was great though, he was a trooper though, because what was it, two weeks before, he had like double hip replacement, and he came and did the show anyway. With crutches. With crutches, which we didn't know about. So that was interesting. So Stacey, which one was your favorite? Oh, I have to say the very first show <laughs> I ever did. Um, but the first show was truly um, uh, unbelievable where um, I pretty much spent the entire show like a deer in a headlight. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, you didn't. We were up there in the Q-Talk Lounge where the lights were shining and you were just kind of, it was like deer in a headlight. You just couldn't see anything. And we were serving cocktails that I'll say <laughs> resembled a homeless man's asshole to taste. <laughs> Not that I ever have, but it was the most. And so my tongue maybe was a little numb, so basically I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then at the end of the show, it seemed like four hours later, we had one of our guests had canceled, so we had a, a, a person come up and fill in for us, who was doing a show here, and who won the Mac Award. Who'd been doing the show been for doing the show. Yeah. In the show, he plays guitar. <laughs> But for some reason that night when he was up here was like, what is this instrument? <laughs> I'll play with my feet. I don't know how to play guitar. And then we'd asked him to come up, we were doing giveaways, and we'd say, but you have some trivia questions. So he was, his, the name of the show was Nashville, based on the Robert Alton film. So we were like, just come up with some film and trivia so that people could give prize away. So meaning plural, more than one trivia question. He came up with one question, and we said, okay, Daryl, how about another one? He was like, oh, <laughs> so, he, he has a show all around All it. around it. So didn't we you say, Stacey, though, that he didn't know that it was like he came up with a question that he didn't know the answer to? I don't know. I it's like it wasn't even a trivia. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so, he we, so that we, really it. We, we have come a long way. We have come a long way. Come a long way. <laughs> so funny. Yes. But I, I have to tell you my favorite one. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I know this. 
For those of you that were here know exactly the what I'm talking about. Danger. Ooh. Mons is not allowed to ask people to come up on stage. Yeah, or <laughs> Drunk girl about marriage. Uh, oh, marriage. You remember that? That was a good one. Oh, yeah. Were you here for that? It was hysterical. So we're talking about gay marriage, and we're talking about some legal stuff. This was yeah, before sorry. our official show. <laughs> And she's sitting at that table right over there. I will never forget it. So I can't even remember what I said, but she was like, that's not true! Does anybody else ever feel that way and just out of the blue, just in silence? Yeah, exactly! Exactly, so we were like, oh, lawyer, let's get her up here. She Big gets mess. up here. Because we do the interactive thing, exactly. you know, you bring the mic out and ask questions and it's a give and take kind of thing, so we're like, oh good, someone has something to say. She comes up here, and we're like, oh, so you know a lot about the gay marriage thing. She says, yes. So, um, exactly how do you know about this? She goes, my parents were married? I was like, oh, my God. My face is like this. Grab the mic. First of all, grab the mic. My parents? Like gays, <laughs> This was 10 minutes into the show. She must have had like 17 drinks already. It was hysterical. I the whole audience was peeing their pants laughing. And we were trying to be serious and we were like, that's great. <laughs> and my brain's going, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Get the microphone. Somebody get the mic. Get the microphone back. Come on, get the mic. Tackle her. Take it down. We did get out of We did. We did. We did. And ten minutes later, she never asked anybody else. Daragal.